In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get some consistency in terms of loudness for your vocals using compression. I recently made this video right here in Cubase and one of you guys requested that I do the same trick in FL Studio. So this is what I'm here to do. If you take a look at my project here, I've got my lead vocal on top here and some backups here. So what you need to do is double click on your vocal and send everything to track one. Make sure you send everything to track one like that. Once you send all your vocals to track one, simply come to the mixer here, go to track one and add a plugin called Aravox. Set the get to 50, then just grab the compression and the gain and bring them down all together. Take the compression to 18 and highlight everything right here in the first track go to the track here right click consolidate tracks from song start so if i click on that set the file type to wave here you can keep it at 24 make sure you set this to mono merged then click start so once it's done it will create a new file on top which is compressed with aravox so what i'll do is simply just try to zoom in here if you take a look at this part here, look at how it has been corrected to something like that. So this will sound more professional. But again, you need to have it in mind that when you over compress, you destroy the vocal. If you kind of feel like it's too compressed, where well, you can see something like your vocal has been cut like that, it means that you need to reduce a little bit on the compression. So let me just click Ctrl Z on my keyboard to get back to where everything was. You highlight everything, go to your mixer here, go to insert number one, come to Aravox and just try to take the compression back. I can go to the track, consolidate from song start. The same settings will be there. So now if we take a look at this, you can see that it's a little bit ease on the compression. So now you can just delete the second track. And if you take a look at this, it will be muted. It looks like it's muted the original track so just delete that from the project go to the next part highlight everything since we've already sent to track one just go straight to consolidate tracks then from song start you can see from this one also it looks all stable so we can delete the, the other one here i can come to this right here consolidate I delete the, the original. I can come to this right here, consolidate and delete the original. So now my vocals look stable and properly compressed. And if you take a look at them, they are not sent to anything here. So you can go back to your mixer and just remove Aravox. That's if now you want to use this space for something else. But maybe you can keep this channel in case you record something. You can simply just send the consolidate so that it goes to this state here. So now from here, you can start mixing however you want to mix. All right, guys, hope this helped. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. My name is Che. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Che the MG or Facebook at Che the Mix Genius. See you in the next video. Peace.